This video is sponsored by Lootbear. Lootbear is an easy to use skin renting service. You can either rent skins for cheap or rent out your own skins to get some easy site cash. If you want to try it out, make sure to check the link down below to get 7 days of renting out skins for free. It's like Netflix, just for skins. Yo guys, welcome back to a new video on my channel. In today's video, we will start the journey. The journey from $100 to a dealer. As you might already know if you follow my streams, my inventory is gone. It's all gone. 15k, gone. I traded it all the way to Loot Bear. I'm sponsored by them now. And I just want to try out or see how much profit you can make a month with having a 15k inventory on Loot Bear. Uh, I'll show the results in like three months so I have like a decent average earning each month and can like see how it works. But yeah, uh, that's a different topic. Be tuned on that video, it will be quite cool. But for today's video, we will start our journey. Um, my plan is to trade up 100 euros to a dealer by doing trade ups, investing, finding good deals trading selling on buff buying on buff and so on uh this will be a long journey and this will take long a lot of effort as well but i'm really hyped about this and i really want to do it so yeah um we will start that today by the way this will be a series so i'll post a video every week so make sure to follow so you don't miss the videos uh what we will be using quite often at the beginning at least is loot.farm it's a trading site and it's probably the most broken trading site i know of so basically it has a bidding section where you can bid onto items and uh yeah sounds pretty normal uh at first but if you sort by for example number of bits you can see that it has sticker items as well and a lot of them are undervalued for example this i was looking at this cartel and i was thinking of buying it but i didn't because uh, it's a cartel it's it's best best position so you might be able to get some overpay but i found a better deal so yeah uh basically what you want to do or what i will do quite often is go onto here every day just check what they have on here right now and uh basically bid for stuff that looks decent okay so in week one i didn't really find that much unfortunately i found a pretty good deal but um it could have been better. So overall, I deposited fifty dollars um, loot farm balance. I think that's. Um, we had fifty dollars. Uh, I already spent half of it on one item, and that is this AK red line. I got it for twenty-five dollars, so only three dollars over uh, market value, and it has four Team Digging Task Cologne 2014 stickers. They're paper stickers, but still, the weapon looks pretty nice, um, and I'm pretty sure I can sell that for some quite uh, some good overpay. I saw some on buff for forty-five dollars cash, so yeah. Um, I really think that I can sell this, uh, sell this one for a, for good profit. So that was a pretty good deal. Unfortunately, I found only that one. We can check real quick if there's anything new. But I checked this morning and I didn't really find anything. I was looking at this red line with the Team Dignity Task had a 14 sticker. It's on scope and it looks kind of decent. But we don't have that balance right now. And I don't want to redeposit because I don't want to have too much money stuck on Loot Farm. Because the problem with Loot Farm is... There's always the chance that you don't get the item you bid for because other people bid for it and then the money is stuck. You can't withdraw it, you can only buy skins with that and then we would end up losing money at, at some point. So yeah, uh, for now I only have that weapon and we have another $24 loot form balance on here. Uh, I will keep looking uh, next week if we can find anything new, but yeah. Okay, now you guys have to decide something because... My inventory is already at $528, and that shouldn't be, it should be at zero, or $28, that would, was only my music kit, and like, my agent, and some other small shit, but yeah. Uh, but, if you saw the past few videos, you saw that I got some scam knives back that were scammed from me a while back, and my question now is, should I use them for this project? If I do, we will be a lot quicker and I can show you more methods to make profit. If we don't, I will just move them into a storage unit or over to Loot Bear, but I don't know if I want to do that. 
so yeah uh, you guys decide down in the description tell me if you if you think it's okay for me to use them for this project or if you say that's cheating because technically I didn't really work for them or if you think okay yeah you worked for them you you kind of managed to get your items back or like you guys have to decide that because I'm not sure like honestly I would be fine using them because it would still be fun but yeah uh, you guys decide in the, the uh, in the comments uh, just tell me what you guys think is the right move here. But yeah, hope you guys liked the video. This is all our progress for this week. It's not that much. Actually, it is. We made about $25 profit this week, um, alone from the 1A case. So if we find more deals ne next week and have more balance, because I'll probably be able to sell my AK for some good profit, um the whole thing will be will go a lot quicker so yeah if you guys enjoyed this series make sure to leave a like comment down below again what do you think i should deal with those knives and make sure to follow so you don't miss any new videos uh next video will probably po be posted next weekend again i'll probably post it every weekend after i'm done doing my trades midweek if you want to know more stuff about this whole series or have updates earlier make sure to watch my streams because I'll probably tease some things I get on there already but yeah uh, hope you guys enjoyed it see you guys in the next one goodbye